Welcome to the Auslink for UPS demonstration on QVM rating. This process is often used by companies that utilize dropshippers to distribute their products. Companies can now enjoy quicker visibility into the cost of shipments that have been processed under their shipper account. Users must have the following components in place for this process. A login to UPS.com which has the QVM option activated, the plus version of Auslink installed, and Microsoft Excel installed. To begin, we'll first log into UPS.com. We'll then hover over the tracking section and select the Quantum View Manage category. The screen that appears offers some tabs across the top. We'll select the third party tab. You'll notice a date range section where you can select the date range for the transactions you wish to view. Our goal now is to create an export file from Quantum View Manage that can be utilized by Auslink. To do this, we're going to select the Add Remove Fields. We're then going to start selecting the fields that we wish to have in our export, and we're going to move them over to the right-hand side of the screen. I'm going to start with the Declared Value field, and we'll click the right-hand button to move it over. I'm then going to start with the Number of Pieces field, and again, click the right-hand button to move it over. I'm now going to select the Length, Width, and Height, and I'll start by highlighting the Height field, hold down my Shift key, click on the Width field, and it selects the entire range, and then I'll click my right-hand arrow. We're now going to select our Ship To information. So I'll select City all the way down to Postal Code, and click the right-hand arrow. We'll then select the Ship From information, which is located under the Shipper section. Again, City down to Postal Code. And lastly, we'll select the Weight field. Now that I have all of the data fields for my export, I'm going to click the Update button, and all the appropriate fields are now displayed down below. It's important on this next step that we actually save our export that we've created. We do this by clicking the disk icon, and we'll give this export file a name. I'll also want to set this as my default view. And then I'll click Save. We can now download this file to our PC to process it through Auslink. It's also worth pointing out that Quantum View Manager allows you to schedule a report, which basically will allow you to send an email of this export file to any user of your choice on either a daily or weekly basis. I'm going to click the Download as CSV button, and we'll, we'll save this file. And that completes the process for creating the export from Quantum View Manage. Part two of this segment will describe how we map this file within Auslink for batch rating. Welcome to part two of the segment on rating a Quantum View Manage file with Auslink. Once the Quantum View Manage file has been saved to our PC, we can open it up and click on the Add-ins tab to display the icons which will allow us to map the file. You'll notice you have an icon for Send to UPS, Setup, and Styles. I'm going to start by clicking the Styles icon, clicking the New button, and giving our new style a name. I'll click OK. I can now exit out of the style section. I want to make sure that I click somewhere on the header row before I go into my setup icon. Now we'll notice three tabs across the top. We're going to start with the first tab called General. I'll select the Rating option. I'll turn off the Shipping option. And then I'm going to also turn on the two bottom checkboxes here, which basically put Auslink into batch mode. Now that I've completed my general tab, I can move over to the next tab called Data Sent to UPS. 
I'm now going to select the fields to be included within my mapping. I'll click Add. I'll start by selecting Ship to City. I'll hold down my Control key to pick multiple fields. I'll select Ship to State, Postal Code, Weight, Service Type. As I arrow down, I'll also find the number of packages, declared value amount, length, width, and height, and then I can click OK. This will drop all of our selected fields into the list. And now to complete the process, we'll click on the drop-down arrow to select which column within our spreadsheet can provide this information. Ship to city information can be found in F. I'll click on the Ship to State field. The drop-down arrow will appear. And I'll select Ship to State. And I'll repeat this process for all the fields in my list. If your file also contains Ship From information, We'll also want to add the ship from fields. We can do this by again clicking the add button. And I'm going to change my category to the ship from category. In here, I can select the ship from postal code. Again, hold down my control key, ship from city and state. It's important to select all three of these fields when determining the ship from information. This will allow you to also retrieve negotiated rates. I'll click OK. It drops them into the list. I can then use my drop-down arrow to find the spreadsheet column. Shipper postal code. Shipper city. And lastly, shipper state. I can now click on the last tab called Data from UPS to assign which fields I want written back to my spreadsheet. I'll click the Add button, and I'm going to select Published Rates, hold down my Control key, select Negotiated Rates. For this exercise, I won't need any time and transit information, but I am going to select the Error field. This becomes helpful if there's any errors in my data. I'll click OK. It drops the fields into the list. This allows me to assign a column to my response fields. I'll choose my next empty field, in this case, which is X. I'll assign Y to the next. And lastly, I'll assign column Z to the error field. I'll click OK. And we're now ready to run this through the rating process. It's important to point out that in some cases, if your zip code is too long, you'll notice in row 13 there's a plus sign. You'll want to spread this column out a little wider to remove the plus sign and show true representation of the zip code. I'll highlight the first column where I want my batch to start. Now click the Send to UPS button. This will begin sending rates back to my spreadsheet. Osnick will process through the entire sheet until it hits a blank row. For more information on Oslink, please visit ozdevelopment.com.